we're here at Sun and Fun, and uh, I wanted to come and have a chat with a good friend who's a neighbor as well about an airplane that's a seaplane that you can afford, folks. I'm Dan Johnson speaking with Alex Rolinski, and tell him why I called you my neighbor, Alex. Well, thank you, Dan. Um, yes, I'm located at Deland Airfield, so we're right uh, probably, what, 20-minute drive away? 20-minute drive. I live in Daytona, and Deland's a very close commute for me. Yes, so it is. We love to come over there and see folks like Alex. <laughs> Where you run a business called? It's Aero Adventure. Aero, and that's we, the name of the company. And correct. now what's the name of the aircraft? This is an Aventura. Aventura. So they're similar names, but they're different. So Aventura now, as you said, Alex, has been around quite a few years, and there's a whole bunch of them flying. But you are relatively new to the company. When did you acquire the business? Uh, about five years ago. Okay. So. And how's it been going since then? It's been growing great, Dan. Obviously, a lot of fun. You know, the airplane itself is a proven design, so it's just that's been a blast. But um, a lot of changes in efficiency and as well as the manuals um, that's helped in cost of being lower, obviously, to the consumer, but also just uh, made our process and our knowledge a lot better. Now, some people know about computer-aided design and how that's changed the world of engineering a great deal, and indeed it has. When this airplane was designed, some of those were around, but no small companies could afford it. Today, it is affordable, and you've made use of that technology and part of this efficiency drive you've done, right? Definitely. There's a, there's a lot of options, obviously, on the market, but with uh, SolidWorks as a program we've used to redo our entire manual, um, helped a lot. It used to be an AutoCAD, and a lot of the files were corrupted and, and just transferred over the years, you know, just became um, less and less upkept. Uh, so or kept up with. So with SolidWorks now, since we've redone it, it's given us a much better ability to um, have a lot of the parts either machined, you know, elsewhere being uh, uh, water okay, jetted, yeah. things like that. And then, of course, in bulk, bring down the cost of the kit itself. And then one of those or those processes combined aid us in, in giving a delivered a quality product with a much lower price tag. And helped you on the manual writing. Oh, yes, it did. Which and the is, building. I'm told, some <laughs> of the biggest challenge of making a kit airplane is good, getting a manual that somebody can follow and do confidently. For sure, yep. So good for you. I know that was a lot of work. We've talked over the years, and you were putting a lot of effort into that, yes. you and your partner, who's also named Alex. Yes. Um, and the two of you have been quite a team together and gotten this uh, kicked up into gear pretty well. Yes, thank you. Um, and we have. We have a lot of investment, both labor-wise and, and monetary-wise, but definitely well worth it on the backside. So you're located at Deland, where the Deland Showcase is, and you're right next to the folks at Aerolite and mm -hmm. making that pretty little 103, and you two <laughs> cooperate well together. Oh, yeah. You took me up, in fact, in an Aventura while we shot photos of the other one, and yep. now we're going to go the other way and get <laughs> pictures of you, but not from him because right. kinda, he's only a single-place <laughs> aircraft. And speaking of single-place aircraft, this one's a twin, a two-seat side-by-side aircraft and has been the biggest seller, I think, for the company for, sure. for a long time. But there's a renewed kind of interest in single place flying. Are you going to be able to address that, as you mentioned? Um, definitely, Dan. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because this has been our mainstay, kind of the workhorse of the fleet. Uh, but we do offer a, an ultralight version, single seater, as well as a high performance two, uh, single seater, so an HP. Um, both available as single seaters with different engine options, but uh, low cost as well, much lower than the two. Um, and it's been surprisingly a much more of a demand um, in recent years that I've found. Um, that it seems like the single seaters are coming back. It so being the only one that offers an Amphib single seater, well, hopefully we're poised for success in that regard as well. Yeah, when you talk about, uh, you know, there may be some other home builder, other kinds of projects or different style of aircraft, but in a conventional three-axis uh, seaplane light, light sport or light sport-like aircraft, which is what you've got here, all the other guys are just doing two plays. Correct. And so a single place machine, uh, for those that want that, and there are actually a lot of people that realize, you know, I'm usually the only one in there anyway. Why don't I spend less money yeah. and just please myself while I fly? Exactly. And uh, I've flown the single place versions of these back many years ago, <laughs> and they were I thought they were a lot of fun. Oh, they're a blast. Because they're just light and agile, and they get out of the water right away. Yep. So what makes the difference between the two models? So, um, well, there's a couple variations. Structurally and design-wise, they're very similar. Um, so you you don't have to worry, and they've been around. Both models have Those been around two, for years, like exactly. So uh, no lack of confidence in the actual ability of the aircraft, but they're narrower, so you don't have that extra seat next to you. So, so instead of the side by side, you're just sitting one person. Uh, so the hull, same design, but just shorter and narrower. Okay. Uh, the wingspan is a little less and uh, less wing surface area because it's not needed. And then of course the engine option. So of course the aircraft itself is lighter, and okay. burns less fuel. Cool. But today here in 2017. 
-hmm. what kind of numbers can you throw out to give us that perspective? So you can get your basic airframe. It includes everything you need other than an engine and avionics for about 31,000. Okay, um, 31,000. 31,000. It's everything but not the engine. Correct, okay. and of course your instrumentation. And so instrumentation. you pick your own instrument package. But you don't have to add painting, nope. so that's not an additional cost. Correct. We'll come back to why, but continue on please. Correct. Um, so then in, in addition to that, you can buy the option with the uh, having an engine with okay. the Aero Momentum, which is an engine we've had success with. That's based on the Suzuki? Correct. Yep. Okay. Um, exactly. And it, that with that engine coupled with an airframe, you're looking at 41000 Still a bargain. Still a bargain. And then if you wanted something a little bit well known, such as a Rotax, then you would look at about 54000 total. But even that, I mean, barely over $50,000. Now, that's yep. a kit, so you're going to have to build it. Uh, but one thing you're not going to have to do, I mentioned, is paint it because it uses different kinds of wings. Tell us about Correct. that. So this uses a Dacron sailcloth, a very, a very strong. Um, it used in competition sailboats. In fact, there's many aircraft out here that use many, many, a many. similar type of wing. In fact, uh, Aircam uses the same wing, and they paint theirs. Right. <laughs> so this can be painted, but it comes with a color option, and then can be clear coated for UV protectant. So it lasts well into 15, 20 years if it's maintained just like anything else. Can you custom color them for people? You can, yep. You get to pick your own color options, um, and I couldn't tell you how many color options we have, but there's plenty. As many as um, there are colors exactly. of I guess. You can go through them all. And, and then uh, that, those colors are just sewn in. Exactly. They're, they're sewn into the fabric, so when you get it, you're not having to worry about any of that labor. You're just literally slipping it on like it's, a sock. Yeah, like a sock on a foot, right? But in the center here, the structure of the aircraft, uh, is this fiberglass, by the way, what I've got my hand on? It is. This is fiberglass. Okay, but this is not actually structural, is it? Correct. Um, okay. This is independent of the airframe. So, assuming you got the CG right, uh, you could fly this aircraft without the hull. The hull is literally there for buoyancy. Um, now, the hull does add rigidity, obviously, because it is um, built very, very well in reference to having a foam core and things like that. So, it can absorb quite a bit of an impact, but the airframe is structurally independent of this fiberglass. Okay, so it's an all aluminum structure. Correct. correct. Which is then also good in in water environments because oh, aluminum great. is very durable in water. All of our aluminum is actually, uh, it's aircraft grade aluminum. It's also uh, anodized and then uh, we coat the inside with linseed oil for corrosion protection. Oh great, so you got it well, well protected. You could use this in salt water then. Oh yes. In fact, one of your pilots, a female down in, I think the Keys, isn't that where yes, she lives? Yes, Miami, the Keys, all around that area. And she flies this thing in salt water all the time. All the time. In fact, one of the aircraft we brought to the show is 15 years of living in salt water. Is that right? Um, in and out. So uh, 1,100 hours and and still flying. In fact, I flew it to the show. <laughs> Is that right? So there you go. Yep. All right, great stuff. Well, we talked about the fact that you do have to build the airplane. How can you help people with that, Alex? So we offer a builder assistance program, something relatively new, um, but it's worked out great. We have two in process right now. Realistically, what we quote is 250 hour build time, and that's very, that's very still realistic. Very low. No, well, yeah. yeah, it's all pre cut, pre drilled. So this is similar to an erector set as opposed to Clecos and sheet metal. Um, and this hole, is a very. Bolt A and hole B. Huh? Exactly. Okay. I mean, realistically, 250 with the builder assistance, we can lower that quite a bit to about 200 hours just because. So they could come and spend a couple of weeks. Get it, get it to a place where it looks starting to look like an airplane to them, which is very satisfying. Then, yes, and then maybe, uh, maybe some of that part they would go, okay, look good, I got it, I got it this far now. I can work on the panel at home, or Correct. I'll just come back and finish it with you at another time. Correct. And you're able to accommodate them in your shop at Deland for that. Yes, uh, yes, we are right there. As well as one thing I did not mention was we offer the kit by assembly. Okay. So there's 19 different assemblies that they can purchase, and what that gives them the ability to do is similar to what you said, is build the assemblies at their home and then put the plane together as a whole once all of those are done. And it gives them the, the aspect of being on a budget or wanting to do it over time. You've still got such a low price point that people can actually afford it. Before we wrap up here, Alex, I want to go back to the single place, though. The single okay. place numbers are going to be even less than that, right? That is correct. So the single place we offer with an engine for the HP as well as the, uh, the UL, the ultralight, um, those are looking at between 25000 and 27000 respectively. Um, you can get the airframe kit for 16000 to 18000 The first numbers were with engine. With engine. That is correct. <laughs> so that's so. a remarkable number there. Yes, you still have to build it, but your out-of-pocket cost for a valid seaplane brand with a new. lot of experience yes. and brand new, mm -hmm. a very affordable price. Yep. There's one thing we didn't uh, talk about yet that I do want to mention before we wrap up, Alex, and that is there were a lot of airplanes like the Aventura called the Buccaneer, which actually preceded this. Correct. Uh, and, you know, they look very, very similar. So people are going to go, well, maybe they could help me with parts. Can you do them any good? Of course. Um, we do supply all the parts for support-wise for the Buccaneer models, B2B, B2A, the SX, the XA. 
Um, we also offer, there's the Toucan, the Zephyr, the Barracuda, the Explorer. So there's quite a few planes within our, our inventory that we're able to support. Um, we don't actively sell those or market them, but we do have the ability to supply parts as well as any type of uh, maintenance manuals and or just general guidance. Well, that's great because all those names you mentioned very fluidly, some of them go way back in oh, time, yeah. you know, back to that beginning number that you mentioned earlier. That's the King the, Cobra, too. I forgot about that and one. Stuff. And King Cobras <laughs> as well, right? That was a whole bunch of them. And that company did a lot of good work back yeah. in the day, but they didn't have the advantage of some of Correct. the stuff, nor maybe the motivation to do what you and, and uh, Alex Gutierrez uh, put together. So good for you for doing that. Good for you for supporting those guys. No problem. Thank uh, you. That's, uh, I hope you make some money off those parts because those people find it very valuable. They can get them. Keep them flying. Amen. <laughs> So a lot of airplanes flying. Airplanes been around a long time. A uh, qualified guy and his partners and other team members that have done a great job of bringing that early stuff up to date. Uh, you're located in an easy place to come in a state that's fun to come to. Yep. Uh, I'm not seeing what's wrong with this picture. So <laughs> why don't we just leave it at that and say, for all the questions I did ask you, surely people have more. Where shall we send them on the web, Alex, to ask you guys all the questions they can possibly think of and, and then hopefully give you an order. No, definitely. So we have a redesigned website. It's uh, www.c-plane, so S-E-A-P-L-A-N-E.com. Very easy. Coverage about the Aventura in both single and two place and more to come. You can find along with a lot of other affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Alex Rolinski and I out here in the field at Sun and Fun.